39 of our 40 days of prayer. Our scripture today is taken from 2 Chronicles 20, verses 15 to 17. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. Poor King Jehoshaphat. Not only was this good man given a terrible last name, but he was about to have a really bad day. An informant had just given the information that a vast army, now we're talking about more than one country of bad guys here. They were coming against the nation of Judah and they were just across the sea heading his way. Now, let's be honest here. Most of us in King Jehoshaphat's shoes, we would panic, all right? We would probably uh, immediately call our military generals. We would grab one of those really big maps. We'd get our Green Army guys and we'd begin strategizing the defense while sharpening our spears and swords. Not this king. His immediate response was to inquire of the Lord. He called for all of Judah to fast, to assemble together, and to pray in faith. Maybe that's where you're at today. Maybe you can hear the hoofbeats of the enemy in the distance in your life. You feel a quiet panic in your soul because the battle you're facing, it, it can't be conquered by human wit or by human strength. Our verse today tells us that first of all, the battle is not yours, it's God's. Then we're commanded to take up our positions, to stand firm, to see the deliverance that the Lord will give. I wanna encourage you to face every battle like this faithful king did. Seek God's face first and not your own plan. Take the position of prayer and fasting before him. Then face the enemy with a song of praise. The Bible says that the men of Judah, they sang songs of praise as they traveled to the place where they were gonna do battle. When they saw the vast army before them, all they saw were dead bodies across that valley. While they were worshiping God in preparation to face the enemy, God went before them and defeated them ahead of time. I'm thinking the worship atmosphere went up a few decimals in the valley that day. So what is your battle plan? Start with being on your knees, journey in praise and stand firm and see his deliverance. Let's pray together. Let's pray King Jehoshaphat's prayer in verse nine. Lord, we stand in your presence, this temple that bears your name. We cry out to you in our distress and you hear us and you save us. This battle is yours. Give me courage and strength to stand firm and see your deliverance. We will neither be afraid nor discouraged because you're with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Have a great day.